Hi everyone, it's Dr. Dickinson. So one of the cornerstones of a solid elementary math block is a number talk. If you haven't heard of a number talk before, uh, essentially students are sitting at the carpet and the teacher poses a math problem that can be solved mentally. Take something like five times 18. The students are working on the problem on the mat. They're not using any paper pencil. And when they have a solution, they will give a signal indicating how many ways they can solve that problem. So this particular approach to instruction is so critical for early math instruction. It provides students with a way to hear their peers thinking. It gives students an opportunity to justify their answers and to develop understanding of concepts as well as strategies. Super critical. And you probably, if you're doing number talks, you love them, but you might be missing them right now if you're teaching virtually. I want to tell you that there is a way that you can do a virtual number talk and we're going to see a video of that in just a second but essentially you'll use a Google template with a space for students to record their names and their solution. There's also icons that the students can drag indicating they have a strategy they want to share or if they agree with their peers response. So we're going to see that in action, but before we do that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and you'll be entered to win a copy of my latest publication, The Virtual Classroom, now available on Amazon. It's all about creating distance learning experiences. So we're going to be doing another number talk with images. This time you need to tell me how many donuts you see in the image. Remember two, you can show different ways, so different strategies to solve the problem. What I want you to do is to type your name where it says name and then underneath your name, write your solution, how many donuts you see. And then once you've done that, you can draw the I have a strategy over your name. If I call on you, you can start typing in the explanation box. So Miriam and Cullen, you guys can start typing your explanation for how many donuts you see. Where's the person now? If you can't find the sign, you can always type out the word plus, P-L-U-S. Or you can write the word add. Okay, so who would like to share with us how they found the answer? Okay, Kat, go ahead, tell us what you did. I know that 4 plus 4 equals 8, and then I add another 4 plus 4, and then that equals 2 8, and, uh, and that equals 16. Excellent. Did anyone else use the same strategy as Kat? First, she added two fours to make eight, and then she added the two eights together, eight plus eight, to make 16. Way to go, Kat. Yeah. Okay, how about you, Cullen? I see that you used a different strategy. Can you tell us what you did? Yep. Basically, what I did was I know that was four columns and four bows, so I did. I did four times four, that equals sixteen. But just a little cheat sheet, I did four times five equals twenty. So twenty minus four gets me to sixteen, which is my answer. I see. So you know your you did your multiplication by fives, and then you subtracted out one group of four to make sixteen. Yep. Is that correct? 
Excellent. And Miriam, you did another strategy. You used repeated addition. So tell us what you did. Um, I noticed that there was four down here and four up here. And I know that, that um, the, there's two more of those. Um, so that would equal 16. Four plus four plus four plus four equals 16. Excellent. And even though we've just started the second grade, what's going to happen is by the end of the second grade, we're going to be using more efficient strategies like multiplication, which is just like Miriam showed, repeated addition. So because Miriam, you have four groups, uh, I'm sorry. Yes, four groups of four. So that would be four groups of four, which is four times four, as Cullen showed us which also makes 16. So the more we see our visual images, the faster we're gonna get at being able to recall our multiplication facts. Great job, you guys, today on our number talk. Would you like to do another one tomorrow? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right, I can't wait to see you then. Bye-bye. We have to do another one tomorrow. Okay, we will, I promise. <laughs>